Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those of you who haven't been here before, hi, I'm Lori Hill and on this channel we'll talk about plastic surgery, cosmetic procedures, beauty and beauty standards. We'll also sometimes feature special celebrity products that they use to stay looking good and youthful. Whenever possible, I will offer you dupes for these products if they're just too expensive or out of reach for us normal people. So if that sounds good to you, then make sure to subscribe. Whenever I talk about celebrities in my videos, it's never to shame or expose them. It's simply to point out the work that they may have had done to their face. It's also to dispel the myth of perfection in the entertainment industry so that you'll stop comparing your natural selves to a celebrity's perfect image. Never use my videos to hate on celebrities. Remember that my videos are always my own opinion and speculation based on my knowledge of plastic surgery and how it tends to present on the face. This video and all celebrity videos are never based on fact or actual knowledge I have of their plastic surgery procedures. If I had this type of knowledge, it would actually be illegal for me to disperse it here. In this video, we'll be talking about the talented and beautiful actress, Anya Taylor-Joy. Now, I, like many of you all, absolutely love her acting. I first discovered her in the Netflix series, The Queen's Gambit, and I've been a fan of hers ever since. She is an incredible actress. Now first, let's get the correct pronunciation of Anya's name out of the way. Here is her pronouncing her own name. Hello, I'm Anya Taylor-Joy. Anya Taylor-Joy. Anya Taylor-Joy was born in 1996 in Miami, Florida to her father, Dennis, who was a former banker, and her mother, Jennifer, who was a psychologist. Her parents were on vacation in Miami at the time of her birth. Her birth at that time was actually a fluke, but she was able to get American citizenship based on being born here. Now her father is of English and Scottish ancestry with Argentine roots, and her mother has a British diplomat father and a Spanish mother. Anya is the youngest of six siblings, with four of them being from her father's previous marriage. Anya began her acting career at a young age, starting with modeling before transitioning to acting. Now she made her acting debut in a stage production of The Importance of Being Earnest when she was only six years old. Later on, she began her professional acting career in 2011. After that, she appeared in several short films before making her feature film debut in the 2015 movie, The which. Since then, she's been in several critically acclaimed movies like Emma and The Queen's Gambit, which is my favorite. And she's established herself as a talented and versatile actress. Let's talk about Anya's natural beauty trait. I love her big, captivating, and widely spaced eyes. I think if Anya is known for anything, it's her eyes. She truly can act with only using her eyes. They are really her most interesting and beautiful feature, at least in my opinion. Now, Anya also has beautifully shaped lips. They're very petite and delicate and fit her face very nicely. I also love her statuesque body type. To me, she looks like a mystical fairy. She's just stunning. Now, Anya, like many of us, has fought with insecurity about her looks. As a child, she was bullied for looking weird. And that was something that really stuck with her. This is a direct quote from her. I have never, and I don't think I will ever think of myself as beautiful. I don't think I'm beautiful enough to be in films. It sounds pathetic. And my boyfriend warns me, people will think I am an absolute blank for saying these things. But I just think I'm weird looking. Now that really goes to show you how much bullying early on can affect you later on in life. Sometimes even with therapy, these things stick with us throughout our lives. So I really sympathize and empathize with her about that. And on that note, I'm also going to ask everyone to be extra cautious about the comments that they write down below. I will be moderating the comments, but I need your help as well. Now let's go over possible plastic and cosmetic surgery changes that Anya may have had done. Comparing Anya's appearance in 2015 to her current appearance in 2023, there have been significant changes to her face. 
Please note that in 2015, Anya was 19 years old. Amongst the first procedures that may have been done is an early brow lift sometime between 2015 to 2017. In the before photo, Anya's brows sat lower on her face and were slightly asymmetrical, with one being slightly higher than the other, which is completely normal by the way, and most of us have that. Sometimes asymmetry can become more pronounced and obvious after a brow lift, but in Anya's case, in the after, her brows are more symmetrical. In the after, her brows are also higher on her face, opening up her eyes a bit more and giving her this wide-eyed look that she's now known for. Let's talk about the possibility that Anya may have also had an upper blepharoplasty. When we look at Anya between 2020 and 2023, we see a change to her upper eyelid, where previously she had a slightly hooded upper eyelid. In the after, she has more upper eyelid show. And this is not due to her brow lift as she already had a brow lift in the before photo. If anything, her new heightened brow position in the 2023 photo is the result of brow compensation, which sometimes happens after an aggressive upper blepharoplasty. For more about brow compensation, please watch my Kylie Jenner analysis video. In regards to a lower blepharoplasty, I do see a bit of change to Anya's lower eyelids, showing more white under her iris. But I think this is from the weight loss to her face more than anything else. Fat loss is often seen around the orbits and in the loss of fat as structural support to the under eyes. The next possible procedure is a rhinoplasty. Anya starts out with a short nose that has a hidden columella, which is this area right here. From profile view, we see a low bridge and a slightly bulbous tip. Now let's go to the after. After the rhinoplasty, from the frontal view, the columella has been revealed, and we now have nostril show. We also have a more defined tip and nose bridge. The nose's width has become more narrow. Making the nose more narrow usually involves breaking the nasal bones and bringing them back closer together. From the profile view in the after, her nose's bridge has been raised. It's gone from being lower to being more of a high bridge nose. And this, I believe, produced a more sophisticated and mature look for Anya. In the years between late 2019 up until present time of this video, 2023, Anya has lost a significant amount of weight. Her weight loss is likely responsible for her losing her full cheeks and making her face look overall thinner and more fragile. This amount of weight loss can contribute to a big change to the face, though it's not responsible for all of the changes. Weight loss can often lead to changes in the face and neck first before other weight loss is noticed. This is very true in Anya's case. I see a thicker neck in these photos, although it's completely normal to have a neck like hers. In these after photos, Anya's neck is very thin along with the rest of her face. Now next I see changes to Anya's cheeks. Anya's cheeks were likely amongst the next procedures performed. Anya starts out with a full cheek that gives her a very girl next door quality that is cute and relatable. I see buckle fat removal was performed to give her cheek bone area more prominence. But the last two procedures are the ones that I believe really made a difference to give her that very upswept look. The first was the possible placement of cheek implants, which we see very well in the three quarters point of view. Now, some of you may say Anya already had existing cheeks and they were just made more obvious after the fat removal. But actually, Anya's natural cheek structure appears to be mostly comprised of fat and not actually actual hard bone structure, at least in my opinion. The cheek implants were added to give more bony structure and there's a new prominence to her cheek that makes it look more forward than her cheek in the before photo. You can see the cheek implants from the frontal view as well, where we see this new prominent lateral curve that wasn't there in the before photo. The second and last procedure I believe was done to Anya to give her a more upswept and prominent cheek look is a cheek lift. Now, oftentimes a cheek lift is done along with cheek implants, and surgeons like to do this in order to ensure that that cheek envelope is nice and flush and intact with the cheek implant in it. Oftentimes the cheek envelope is disturbed when putting 
an implant into it and doing that cheek lift really ensures that everything stays nice and tight. Now a side effect of that cheek lift is that Anya's under eye area was filled in as well. When they do a cheek lift, oftentimes the facial fat gets redistributed and we get some of the facial fat from this area moving up to the under eye area. And this will often correct the look of sunken under eyes. It's sometime after 2020, although all time frames are estimates, that I see that Anya's face looks longer. If we look at her face from the front point of view, in the before, we see a shorter face in the lower third of her face. Now in the after, we see a longer lower third. It looks like there were jaw implants added to Anya's face. The jaw implants have been added to give more length and balance to her face. If we look from the three quarters point of view, the added length is even more obvious. Now this added length helps to balance out Anya's cheeks as well. I also noticed that in addition to giving Anya more length to her face, the jaw implant may have also included a chin wing portion that filled in her natural chin dip or step off and made the jaw straighter, particularly in this area here. I really see the difference very pronounced in this photo. And overall, if we look at a before and then an after photo, Anya has a more sophisticated and older look to her. Now, could this be what surgeons were aiming for to give her less of that relatable girl next door look and more of that sophisticated knowing woman look. If we take a look at Anya's teeth, it looks like Anya has had a bit of cosmetic dentistry done. I counted about four veneers or crowns. I'm gonna estimate her as having at least four veneers. Let's add up how much it costs to look like Anya Taylor Joy. All prices are based at the high end of the price range. These are celebrity high end prices. Brow lift, 20,000. Rhinoplasty, 30,000. Buckle fat removal, 15,000. Cheek implants, 10,000. Cheek lift, 20,000. Custom jaw implants, 15,000. Four veneers, 16,000. Blepharoplasty, 10,000. Total cost, $136,000. I wanted to talk a bit about Anya's changes to her face. After seeing all the changes and how dramatic they are, I can't help but feel that maybe these were not changes that she personally thought of to make. Because of how intricate the changes are, I really think a plastic surgeon probably suggested most of this work. And it caused me to wonder if she wanted these changes. Knowing her background with feeling bullied and never feeling beautiful, I wonder if she was just more susceptible to suggestions from a plastic surgeon. I really hope that at this point in her life that she is feeling beautiful and has good self-esteem and a good self-image. Let me know your thoughts down below. Remember to keep the comments kind or neutral and I will be moderating the comments. Please go watch my most recent video about how Kim K stays looking youthful. This is my first celebrity product video and I think that you'll get a lot out of it as there's lots of suggestions in this video about how to look and feel youthful. So go check it out if you haven't yet. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. <laughs>